We're at the pool. She forgot her swimsuit. No! Okay, so her boyfriend gives her a t-shirt, but like you're sacrificing his t-shirt. How's he gonna get home without a t-shirt? And then you cut up the t-shirt. Where are we going with this? And then, oh, so you had a bikini bottom. You had a bikini bottom this whole time to trace it with. But why can't you use that bikini bottom to go to the pool? Instead, you gotta ruin your boyfriend's perfectly good t-shirt. Okay. Okay, I see you five minute crafts. Oh, okay, let, let's see. Now you have a needle and a thread. So you forgot to bring a bikini, but you remembered to bring scissors, string, thread, and to steal your boyfriend's t-shirt. <laughs> like, what are the chances? I swear, these hacks take more time than just being lazy, you know? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's more effort to do these hacks. Okay, it's kind of cute, but it's also not a bathing suit. It's literally your boyfriend's t-shirt that you DIY'd. Oh, you know those long car rides where you just want to sleep? Don't worry, five minute crafts, they got a solution for you. <laughs> you just take your scarf, tie it around your face. Literally, my face hurts just looking at this. Like, how are you gonna do this without creating any air holes? <laughs> Also, she looks like she's being kidnapped. This is the worst hack ever. Sometimes like I'm like, okay, these hacks are good. And sometimes I'm like, bro. Okay, first of all, who pours cereal like that? I'm clumsy and I'm not that bad. But what's the hack for this? Okay, so you slide it under the fridge and then... And then what? <gasps> then nothing? That's how you get ants. That's disgusting. Worst hack ever. Oh no, she just got scratched by her stuffed tiger because that happens on every occasion. <laughs> that or she has a real life living tiger in her room. That also happens on every occasion. And instead of, you know, going to the doctors because a tiger scratched you, just do this five minute crap. <laughs> Dead. Okay, so your friend, your friend just can't stop stealing your popcorn and you're like, yo, I bought that with my heart on money. Stop touching that. But don't worry, five minute hacks, they got you covered, okay? So we're gonna turn our hoodie around. Look how focused she looks. Can we look at that again? Wait, wait. Look at the focus and determination. Like, she's mad. So you're gonna pour the popcorn into your hoodie. That's disgusting. And just like eat like this, like an animal. I mean, at least no one's gonna touch your popcorn because you're disgusting. Five minute crafts, they got you covered. I mean, she looks smug, she looks happy. Ooh, I like her t-shirt. Okay, oh, she's standing there. Why do you keep dipping it? Can't you just keep it in? <laughs> Does dipping it actually help? Okay, now she's gonna take a sip and it's disgusting. It, but don't worry, there's a hack for this. There's a hack for everything. So we get a drill, a tea bag, a wire. Where are you supposed to find all this stuff? All of this just to make your tea. Like, can we <laughs> can we talk about this for a second? Because wouldn't it be way easier to just leave the tea bag into the hot tea and let it steep by itself than making this contraption that probably took you a good 30 minutes to make. These lazy hacks take more time than being lazy itself. Oh no, it's so far away. Oh, but she has the hack with the popcorn in her hood from the last hack. Okay, don't worry, she got a hack for you. She's like, where do I put my drink down? Oh, oh, grab the tape roll with your feet because that's how lazy you are. And then you're gonna tape the tape onto the chair and put your drink in there. You know, ruin your expensive furniture so that you don't have to hold your drink. Beautiful. Laziness, five stars, definitely. Also, when that tape comes loose and your drink falls to the floor and ruins your expensive rug. Ouch. Okay, so we're getting ready to go to school, right? Okay, you're putting your jacket on. I like how she did that little flip, like flip a flip a flip. And then, oh no, she forgot something, but her shoes are on and it took way too much effort to put your shoelaces on. You're not about to take that off. We also don't want to make your house dirty. Don't worry, there's a hack for that. We're gonna put some plastic bags on our feet. And then, you know, you don't have to take off your shoes. You take the plastic bags off. Don't forget that part, it's very important or else you look ridiculous. Now, my problem with this hack is you would have to have the plastic bags ready beside the door for you at all times. Otherwise, it's not too horrible. It's not the worst thing in the world. Because we're gonna go into water. It's too cold! Way too cold. Okay, so now, I don't know how we're gonna fix this. We're gonna take a hula hoop, a black garbage bag, some floaty things, and put those into the water. Water will quickly become warm. Is this true? Can somebody with a pool try this and let me know? I guess the black would attract heat, right? Because that's what the black does. 
suck in the light, you know? I guess in theory, I will allow this to pass, okay? I'm gonna give this the approval of high IQ thinking. High IQ thinking. Okay, so now we're gonna have some soda. And the soda is too hot too! Oh no, so now there's a hack for that. We fill up a little pool, a tiny pool with ice. And now your soda will be perfect and cold. Look how happy she is with her hot pool and cold drink. Oh no, it's windy and your skirt's blowing up. <gasps> what are we gonna do? Oh no, oh no, oh no. The worst enemy of the skirt is wind. But there's a hack for this. You take a band-aid, you put a quarter in it, tape it closed, and now this will hold your skirt down against the wind. It's funny because I've actually tried this hack and it didn't work. Like it legit didn't work because the coins would just like fall to the ground. They weren't held up properly. And even if they were, I don't think they were heavy enough to stop the wind. You know when you're sitting on a chair with shorts and then... Oh, you're stuck to the chair. Okay, but that's, that's not sweat, that's glue. Who are you trying to fool? I get stuck to chairs often, okay? I know. And like you stand up and it like kind of hurts because your skin is sticking, but I'm never lifting up a full chair with me, ever. Yeah, girl, I feel you, but like that was glue. <laughs> so you're gonna put some deodorant on your legs. Just make sure it's the clear kind, otherwise you're gonna have legs with white streaks all over them and we don't want that. Oh no. That happened to the friend too. She like walked away with the chair though. We're going for a dip. <gasps> she lost her ring. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <sighs> How are we gonna fix this? Okay, that ring is like 10 times too big for her. <laughs> Why would you go swimming with a ring that's literally double your ring size? An easier hack is just getting a ring that fits you. An even easier hack is just don't go swimming with a big ring. But don't worry, they're gonna give us the hard hack. So we're gonna literally ruin the ring by putting glue on it. They didn't even wait for the glue to cool down, so that ring is now one with you, is one with your hand. The ring owns you now. Lord of the Rings, anyone? You go to take a shower and your shower's broken. What do you do? What do you do? You just, you need to get the stinky off. So you take a plastic bag, you fill it with water, you poke holes into it and you shower outside because you know everybody loves to do that. There's nothing weird or uncomfortable but showering outside where the world can see you. Not at all. What do you mean? Am I being sarcastic? Never. I would never be sarcastic. Okay. Oh no, she needs help. She's swimming like a maniac, but don't worry, we got you. Just throw your trousers at her and you're like, Azzy, how's that gonna help? Well, don't worry. Don't worry. Five minute hacks, they got you. Just a hack for that. You just beat on it with water and apparently it inflates. Have I actually tried this? Absolutely not. If you don't have a life jacket, is it worth the chance? Probably. Can't get your swim cap on? I don't know, I've actually never tried a swim cap. You get it wet and you drop it on your head. That's, okay, that has to be a lie. There's no way. They must've tried that a million times before it worked. A million times. Need an underwater camera? There's a hack for that. <laughs> okay, I need to stop saying that. So you put your phone in a glass and then you put the glass in a pool and you take pictures of someone. Most phones are waterproof nowadays, so I feel like you just put it in the water and take the picture yourself. Now if you have a phone that's not waterproof and you drop that glass and drop your phone, it's fried, it's gone. Like that thing ain't surviving any water. Your phone's either waterproof or it's not. Like it can either handle lots of water or it can't even handle a drop. So I'd say this is not a hack, it's a whack. We're gonna grab some eyeliner. We're gonna draw a nice heart on here with a kitty, oh, <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna put some hairspray on it and now it won't wash off apparently. What? Just give yourself a temporary tattoo? I'm okay with this. I mean, it's pain free. It's not permanent, so why not? We're floating in the pool and, <gasps> oh no, there's a hole! There's a hole! Okay, I mean, I wouldn't panic like that. Okay, she's not happy, but we're gonna fix this. Don't you worry. We're gonna find the hole, it's a big hole, and we're gonna iron it on top of a baking sheet, and the heat will melt the plastic together, hopefully. And now there's no more hole. This one is a hack, you know? I'm not down with all these hacks, but I'm down for that one. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice, other. Bye-bye!